What's up guys, Zach man doing a quick video update on Tron. It's Friday, good deal, ready for the weekend. Uh, so, uh, looking back uh, from yesterday, the previous video, we can kind of see that we did hit that uh, support line down here, kind of went a little bit lower than that, but that's okay. Uh, as you can see, we had a nice little candle up and a nice big green candle go up and then kind of back down, but uh, we're in this little uh, uptrend again. Um, Obviously, it's the weekend, so depending on, you know, trading volume, stuff like that, it could retreat back and then bounce up. But I could see ourselves next week uh, making another push. We got some uh, resistance up here, obviously, to hit uh, to break from a higher high. But uh, if we can break that, we'll continue. We just need to get past the three cents and hit to four cents. So we need to bust out of the resistance that's way up here. I mean, this is some heavy resistance right up here that we need to bust out of. Um, we'll have a little bit of a low to mid resistance down here and a little bit more along the way. But... Uh, we just got to push through it so hopefully we can do it sooner than later but if not like i said we'll kind of follow this uh wedge that we've developed right here so that's kind of where we're at with that uh tron news tron shuts down its erc20 wallet consulting service uh but binance is able to help so if you guys haven't switched over your erc20 tokens from tron to the tron network um you pretty much have to deal with binance now so hopefully you've already done it if not you can still use binance but uh the, you know that was from july to january 31st that you could do that so go to binance you can uh, go ahead and switch them out there so uh, justin sun talks a little bit about the security plans obviously he's been talking about the zk um, that will increase the platforms attracts uh, privacy uh, centric investors so basically you know he's they're working on that right now so that's a little bit of a future thing that's going to happen is working on the privacy issues um kind of like what zcash does so that way you know it's basically for people don't want their privacy stored by facebook or google because these people can uh more easily manipulate the data so they can push ads to you uh you don't want to share those data with them that's why i think the decentralized way uh becomes a good way to do that so they're gonna be pushing the uh privacy part of uh, tron as well um, which I thought was a really, really cool news. So other than that, guys, not much. Um, like I said, uh, if you look at Bitcoin, uh, that part hasn't changed much. Obviously, coming into the weekend, nothing really. I mean, usually by Sunday, uh, we'll kind of see some bigger trends going on. Uh, for Holo Chain, uh, it is actually making some higher highs and some lower lows. So that's kind of making another turnaround here, which is pretty positive if you guys are following that. Otherwise, yeah, like I said, Tron's, uh, you know, we just need to bust through that four, three to four cents and kind of keep it going above. But uh, hopefully with the new privacy thing coming along, um, things go well with that i know there are some more things about the security issues and stuff like that but i'm not going to pay attention to much of that yet uh just because like i said ok uh coin um they approved tron for trading on their platform which again they're in the u.s they have to obey by uh the rules of which the sec provides for them to in order to uh trade that so i'm not gonna worry about it but uh, yeah that's all i got for you guys today hopefully everybody has a good weekend thanks for watching the videos um go ahead and smash the like button and if you haven't subscribed please please feel free to do that um you know i just try to keep it as real as can don't try to blow a bunch of smoke up anybody's butt by promising them you know tron's gonna hit three or four or five million dollars by tomorrow so thanks for watching guys have a great day